Hello, this is Ryer, your librarian at Kirk Library at Centralia College. In this video, we are going to look at database basics. Basically, this video will be about getting started really for any topic at Centralia College. In the video, we will learn to access library databases from off campus, to do basic keyword searches in popular databases, evaluate the number of results, and finally, to narrow and refine our results with filters. Let's get started. Go to the databases. We will first hover over the Find menu, and then click Databases. For this tutorial, we are going to look at two of the most popular databases. We will look at Academic Search Complete, and then we will look at Research Library. Before you can go to a database, when you're off campus, you will first be asked to log in to the library proxy server. All you have to do is do your last name and your student ID number. Okay, now here we are in the database Academic Search Complete which happens to be uh, provided by a vendor called EBSCOhost, which is the logo in the top center. So the quickest way to get started on this is to just enter some words and click enter or hit the search button. So I'm going to type my search terms, very broad, very general. The first time I search for a new topic in a particular database, when I'm just starting out, with a new topic and a new database, I try to start pretty broad. I keep my keywords pretty broad, and I want to see, first and foremost, if there is very much information in this database. So, for example, perhaps I'm in a geology class, or perhaps I am researching something related to tectonic plates, my first, the first thing I want to see is, is there actually anything in this database for me? I'm going to look at the search results. I see that there's 16,000 results. I would say yes, there are plenty. So from here, we've got a couple choices. Um, we may well want to put some more words into our keyword search to be a little bit more specific. If we're really new to the topic and we don't want to do that or we're kind of undecided on our topic, another thing we can do is use the filters on the left hand side to narrow it down. Uh, you may want to just see articles that are full text and available to read in full right now. You may wish to narrow the publication date I'm going to look back at my search results. I still have over a thousand, so that's feeling pretty good. Perhaps I've been studying this topic for a while and I know I'm ready to jump right into academic journals. Or conversely, maybe I'm brand new to this topic and I want to start with some magazines that are written for non-experts. Another great thing to do in this database or any other database is to use subject terms to narrow down and refine your results. In this particular case, we've got two different ones. I would recommend using both. We know we searched for plate tectonics, so it's no wonder that it appears again, but we might actually be most interested in earthquakes. Double check your search result number, 174. That still is plenty to keep us very busy. So now let's take a quick look at what this other popular database, Research Library, looks like. Okay, here we are in Research Library from ProQuest. We can enter our search terms into the search bar. As with the other database, the very first thing I'm going to look at is the number of results. 4,000 sounds like there's a lot of options here. 
if it's a really small number, less than 100, there's either too many keywords or maybe you are looking in a database that doesn't have good coverage for what you're looking for. Um, don't give up on the database without trying a few different keywords, uh, word variations, or different types of words that are more likely to appear in the articles that you'd be looking for. If you ever get stuck, don't hesitate. Just reach out to the librarians and we'll, we'll do our best to steer you in the, in the right direction. But in this case, uh, Research Library is a multidisciplinary database. It's general purpose. It has lots of great stuff for most of the topics that we are researching at Centralia College. Pretty similar to the other database we looked at, this database research library gives us lots of options through the filters on the left hand side to get more specific and really narrow down our results because none of us are going to look through 4,000 results. As with the other database, you may wish to narrow by type and by date, first and foremost. So what full text means is that you can read it immediately in full. Most of these results are full text, but there may well be some that it just basically tells you that the source exists. It will give you the title, the authors, the abstract, but this particular database might not actually have the full text of that. So just to demonstrate, we've got 3,183, and I'm going to limit to just full text. And now we have less sources. So there were some sources that were just the citation. As with the other database, one of the most useful filters will be the subject filter. We can click more to see even more options. Depending on the result list you have, you may choose to just include a few, or you may choose to exclude some that look irrelevant. Okay, you can choose one or more. And hopefully through using a set of filters like we did and limits, hopefully that will get you a, a more manageable number of results. Okay, so at this point in the video, we've now looked at two of our popular databases that are both general purpose, multidisciplinary databases. We looked at Research Library and we looked at Academic Search Complete by EBSCO. Both of these databases are great starting places for doing research at Centralia College. Both of these databases have fairly similar functionality, but the specific articles that they have in them are different. So I recommend looking in both of them when you're first starting out in your research. As a reminder, we're always here to help you. You can email us at librarian at centralia.edu or use our 24-7 librarian chat, which is a chat box at the bottom of most library pages. Until next time.